What's up guys, welcome to another Slay the Spire video. Now, I've been doing a lot of defect recently, and so I decided to switch it up and go to the Ironclad. And I don't know, I don't know if the defect got me more creative, but this ended up being probably one of the first times I've ever done a deck quite like this. It's a Searing Blow deck they use Enlightenment and Dual Wields, plus Runic Cube and Brutality to get card draw and then play a lot of Searing Blows for just one-shot potential. It's kind of crazy. I definitely, definitely, definitely like this run. Super proud of it. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. It helps a lot if you can drop a like. And if you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe down below. Also in the description, you're going to see a Twitch link. If you guys want to catch a live stream, click the Twitch link, drop a follow. I'll see you guys there. Without further ado, guys, enjoy this Ironclad Enlightens Blow run. <laughs> Take care. As smart as I can. Speaking of curses, we're going to take this curse because the gold is much more worth it for 250. The curse is much more worth it for 250. Pretty dead branch. Ironclad's fun, guys. Let's have a little fun, fun with Ironclad. I missed the Ironclad a little bit. Have they been testing new cards for Ironclad or Silent and Beta? No, I don't think so. I think the the Ironclad and the Silent are pretty much done. From my from my perspective. The uh, cleave is not bad for AoE, but I like the shrug it off for the de defense. Because right now we have I should I should block. I'm so used to using lightning on these guys. It's a little awkward. I'm having to strike these guys down. But the sustain is very nice. Whoa, did we go searing below? How many rests do we have? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> we have four potential rests, so we can get searing below going. Do you guys want to see this? I like the defect the best right now. Let's go it. Sure, blow deck. Let's, hap let's make it happen. Let's look for armaments. Dual wheel works well with Searing Blow, because dual wheel can make the Searing Blow duplicated. We definitely want to remove the curse. I think Enlightenment could be good, because I can make the Searing Blow... Like, Enlightenment Plus makes the Searing Blow 1 for the rest of the combat, and then what I could do is dual wield it, and then I have a 1 cost dual wield the Searing Blow. Like, that combo is kind of interesting, right? I've actually never tried this. I've never tried that. And I like the uppercut for the weekend, although it conflicts with the steering blow, but because we have enlightenment, and uppercut's a little bit better. Now, I've never tried this. I have to waste one upgrade on the enlightenment, but that's gonna make it worth, because if I can get like three one cost steering blows, you gotta ask yourself how important that really is though, because the steering blow, the fights don't last that long. Hmm. Let's see. Headbutt works well with Searing Blow because you can get it right back. Metallus has helps with consistent defense. So do we build all 100% on Searing Blow or do we work like get some consistent defense as well? I think we take the Metallus size. Because if we're using Dual Wield, that's like using Headbutt. Because Dual Wield's giving me more Searing Blows. This could have been a limit breaking flame deck if I just saved my money. Who would have known? Double tap would have been good too. Let's let's upgrade enlightenment first. And let's hope this elite doesn't kick our ass. Of course it's him. Of course it's him, dude. So close. So close. Oh, 
Okay, let's go ahead and start upgrading stream blow non-stop. Happy flower is very nice. There's the headbutt now. Like I said, I think because we have dual wield, we're treating that as a headbutt. And I'm gonna skip. We already have a weak uppercut. I'm gonna skip, skip, skip. Havoc could work to thin out the deck, but at the same time, it could also hit the stream blow. That's not good. Alright, now we gotta upgrade this non-stop. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Mummified hands, not bad. Let's see what we get. We can remove. We get another searing blow, no. We can remove. Because the best thing for me to do is start removing. Strikes. That's the best thing for me to do. We can remove again. It's perfect. Small little stream blow deck. Hmm, it's painful. Yes, that happens to me, Ranger. There's the enlightenment coming through. I don't know. This is kind of a weird combo, but I, I, it could work potentially really well. We'll see. Offering will be really good because offering can allow me to get enlightenment and all the cards I want to get it on. I'm gonna skip. No. Oh, nice, Leonardo. Congrats, man. No, we didn't win the last one. Uh, dual wield has been kind of a curse right now, but what's nice about dual wield is that it can dual wield metallicize, and that's that's something that I can look forward to. Because I have mummified hand, dual wield metallicize is actually a really good combo. Because I can use metallicize with dual wield plus to basically get my whole hand played. Lightning is great here, if you guys notice. And the, the, the Metallicize Plus is, I mean, Metallicize is doing some work. But this deck is actually kind of good. This deck's kind of nice. Berserk, you know, because we have Mummified Hand, Berserk is a little bit better. Because it won't be as, like, if I, mm, Getting energy is not bad. Because that allows me to play... Some of my, like, if I don't get enlightenment, I can play uppercut and steering blow in the same turn. Or if I get dual wheel and steering blow, I can play two of them in the same turn. I'm gonna do the berserk. And let's go for the steering blow again. Now, guys, I have to use the bathroom real quick. We're gonna go ahead and fight the slime boss. It should be relatively easy, I would say. I'll be right back. All we want is card draw for the enlightenment, like, battle trains, offering. I'll be right back, though. How are you guys doing? What is this deck? This is a steering blow deck. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna do lightning plus so bash is always gonna be one, all right? And we have we have the fire pot as well. This is gonna be a searing blow and lightning dual wield deck with mummified hand to do dual wield on like. Like I could do dual wield on uppercut, and if I get lightning on those, we're doing some good stuff. Searing blow needs to come. I wish they would have hit the strike. All right. Berserk is actually really nice for the energy. I'm I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I mean, look at that energy. That full energy makes double uppercut possible. Enlightenment just for the steering boat, even though we have the energy now. This deck is fantastic, guys. I'm actually, I'm super happy about this deck. This deck is amazing. 
Hyper Flower and Berserk. I just want to stay full. I want to stay like low life the whole time. I'm loving this. Let's go. Brutality. Now, Brutality is nice because Brutality, first off, gets me down to half life for the Berserk. It's a power for modified hand, and it gives me card draw to help me get doing stuff that I want to do. Runic Cube with Brutality gives me even more card draw. And because we're going to have Berserk, we don't need the energy. And what we could do is have more card draw so we can play more Searing Blows, have more Enlightenment plays, more dual wield stuff. I'm doing Runic Cube. You don't try this at home. Do not try this at home. But I promise you, there's potential here. There is potential. Hey, thank you, Pandarius. How you doing, Eric Waldner? If he does raise my health points so I can have Berserk more often, it's true, it's true. But I, I'm also trying to prioritize card draw as well. It's not, it's not just... We have four rests with no elites, that's perfect. Four upgrades, no elites. Ideal. I'm not just trying to get my health down, I'm also trying to get... I'm trying to get card draw as well. We need armament so we can start getting upgrades. Dual wield the string blow. Wow, this guy's doing a lot of damage. This guy's doing a lot of damage. I actually don't mind because I'd, ra I'd rather be in half life before the form of fed hands. But, uh, wow. I, sh I should probably defend a little bit, right? But also, there's, there's the fact that me being low in life makes it so that... Enlightenment. Like, I'm drawing seven cards a turn. That's insane to me. Evolve? Would have been good with the, uh, the Mark of Pain, right? Duplicate a card. Wow, do we duplicate the Searing Blow at three? Or do we duplicate the Enlightenment? Not the Enlightenment, right? What if we duplicate Berserk and we have even more energy? That's a little crazy. I think we do the Searing Blow. Oh, this might be a rough fight. I'm gonna duplicate this now. I hope that I can get Enlightenment on these bad boys. What's funny is that this guy, these guys right here, these guys are gonna give me insane card draw because they're gonna cube. That's insane. So here's what we want to do. Enlightenment. Shrug it off. Brutality. Metallicize. Berserk. Defend, defend. Searing blow of this guy. And then explosive pot. This is a crazy deck. A little low on life loss, right? I'm gonna need like more max HP. And I'm also gonna need some. Whoa, this is what I wanted right here. Bash, searing blow, searing blow. That's the dream. Pummel strike for card draw. No, I'd rather keep the deck small. We're doing fine. Dual wheel, steering blow, very nice. We want to get the the steering blow. No, strength is not important because right now my steering blow is gonna be doing butt loads of damage. So uh, strength is actually not important because of the rupture. I did the I did the order wrong there. I mean, rupture would not be bad, but. I think Stream Blow is doing all the damage that necessary that... Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. That's only gonna get better and better. Oh boy. Yeah, Rupture is not important because I, I'm operating off like 
big damage with extreme load. It's a different kind of playstyle. I'm gonna skip here. Ah, I don't want to lose these. These are bad options, man. I'm sorry. And that'll give me more chances to find offering and stuff, but... Yeah, those are some bad options. Let's upgrade the stream blow. We do want to upgrade the dual, dual wheel at some point. I'm really hoping for armaments. That's what I really want. Ooh, I'm going to have to weaken here. This is going to be rough. This is a rough fight. Oh, wow. We got... Whoa, we got the combo. We got the combo. One, two, three. That's insane. That's in I'm gonna skip. Now there's some merits into doing Thunderclap to get vulnerable, but... Yes, I don't have consistent defense, but because that cover beam are very dangerous. You're 100% right about that. But we got dual wield on the Searing Blow. That's fantastic. Things like that are amazing. So once Searing Blow gets big, big enough... We're gonna be doing some, some some good stuff. Now, let me see something real quick. It's the collector, okay. Molten egg, oh, that's not that great. Cause it, honestly, it, I'm very mono, like on one card right now. Combust is interesting because combust gives me AOE damage, but also it's another power from my other hand and it gives me more card draw. So I get even more card draw. I get with the brutality and then combust, I'm drawing three, wait. I'm drawing four extra cards a turn. I'm drawing nine cards a turn with combust. Nine cards a turn. Now I'm pretty sure Wetstone doesn't target the Searing Blow because it, it's already upgraded at the end of the turn. Oh, you're right. You're right at the end of the turn. That's not helpful. I think what we do is we remove a strike. We want to keep the deck super, super, super small, and we're going to be dual wielding the string blow, and we're going to be doing a lot of rotation of damage. Yeah, you're right. Combust is not good to cube. Coffee? Uh, sure. But I, I'm pretty good. I, I, got, I got this uh, drink here. Why? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, I think we remove a strike to make the deck smaller. Um, we, we're gonna get to a situation where we're probably taking too much damage, so what we need we need a way to get good defense without doing all this. So the metallicize is pretty important. I think we need to get the dual metallicize to have a little more defense. Unless we can kill the guy so fast, it doesn't matter. This, the Weststone could help. I don't know if the Weststone can target string below because I think it only uh, targets things that are not upgraded. So it could help the uppercut and it could help the uh, the uppercut for the weak and it could help the bash. And those are useful. You could also hit a strike, right? I think I'd rather move and make my deck smaller. Hey, Josh. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. Ah. Ghostly Armor can help my defense. I might need a little bit of defensive cards like this, right? I'll take Ghostly Armor. I probably would have. I would have loved to buy the toxic egg, but because toxic egg is really nice, because that that allows me, toxic eggs allows me to start picking up skills that I might need for defense, but not have to waste upgrades on them. Because right now all our upgrades are being monopolized. Our upgrades are being monopolized right now by the searing blow. So toxic egg would have been fantastic. I just didn't have enough gold. A one cost serum blow. Very nice. Unfortunately. We need we need I think we need more metallicize. Another one cost serum blow. I mean this is obviously nice, but I don't know if I can sustain like the damage output of the boss. We're gonna see. It's a little risky. I should probably get brutality upgraded so I can get that in the first turn. Whoa, we can. We're, we can so this helps, right? This helps.
get my defense a little bit better because I uh, get the upgrades. I think that's pretty good. There's, there is merit in removing a strike. All right, so I think we have really good damage. If we can just get, we got brutality. I was gonna say if we can get the combo out with, if we can get like this dual wielded early, not this one, but the other one dual wielded, we can we can do some good stuff. Let's see. We got enlightenment, which is really nice. Um, I think we focus on the boss 100% and just let these guys do their thing, but I'm gonna try to defend with ghost in the armor. I think we can focus on the boss 100%. We have decent defense here. I mean, I could have killed the ads, but... Got Berserk. This is it. This is what we wanted. We have Uppercut, Searing Blow, Searing Blow. I mean, this is what we wanted right here. Now, all the Searing Blows are this. So, it's going to be one, two, three. He's very close to dying. Extremely close. We're still alive. We just need one more attack, and we got this. Just like that. Just like that. Now this deck, guys, is very unique, and I'm loving it. I'm loving every second of it. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna skip all this. You could argue Fiendfire is not bad because it can thin on my deck. I think my deck's doing just fine. We do, or we could do Orri, and we can. So this is weird. We could do Orri and look for armaments because that's gonna help, or. We could do Astrolab and try to get rid of these strikes and maybe get rid of the Bash because now the Bash is kind of useless because we have Uppercut. And we can get rid of the strikes and then get rid of the Bash and maybe we'll get a, a Armaments Plus. Maybe we'll get some powers from Mummified Hands. I'm going I'm to go for it. The Ori can help find Armaments, but I'm going to do Astrolab and see what we get. We got another uppercut, which is better than Bash. We got Sever Soul, which could be okay. Not really. It got Imperv Impervious is great. Sever Soul, I might remove Sever Soul. But having Impervious, fantastic block. It works with uh, Enlightenment. Uppercut, same deal. Two uppercuts, it was a little awkward, but whatever. I might remove the uppercut and the Se Sever Soul. And just have a really small string blow deck. We'll see. We're going against the Time Meter. So my deck is actually really strong against Time Meter. We're, we're low on energy, again, because we're depending on Berserk. And Enlightenment helps the energy problem just a little bit. We got four rests, one elites. Over here we got three rests. So we want to get as many upgrades as possible. So we're going to have to do an early elite, unfortunately. If I can get a smoke bomb, that would be ideal. Yeah, those are not bad. I, I want to remove Sever Soul. I feel like that's not helping me. Impervious because the Mummified at hand is free, which is fantastic. I don't. I'll get rid of the Ghost Armor. That's fine. The my my Searing Blow kills him if I draw into it. Where the hell is Searing Blow? Really? Luckily, I could do Sever Soul to get rid of the Bird. Although it's unfortunate that I didn't get string blow. Having a bigger like, this is why you want a smaller deck. So this this right here is 61 damage. 91 with vulnerable. <laughs> yes, exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Senso could be good with the severed soul. I can give you more energy. I think we don't want that. I think we Pommel Shark gives me up uh, more card draw, which could help us do enlightenment stuff. 
I might do Pommel Strike. Lose Sever Soul? Yes. I didn't want it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Dual wheels, the Searing Blow. Yes. Kill this little dude. Easy. I'm gonna weaken this dude right here. He's about to attack my face. And I wanna get him vulnerable for the Searing Blow. Hopefully I get into the Searing Blow right now. That's... That's lethal. Let's go! Easy, baby. Wait, can you guys get... To, wait, can we get it? Can we get to 150 likes, guys? I don't know. I don't know, if, I don't know if you guys can do it. Let's see if you guys can get to 150 likes. We're almost there, guys. Nice fighting, for sure. Ooh, so Berserk can hit one of these... Hmm... Well, it's not bad because we still get impervious, right? Wait, I can just kill that guy. I don't mind taking damage because we have Berserk, right? Let's just kill this guy. Fuck it. I mean, it makes me a little bit lower against the Elite, but being low is good for Berserk. We did it? Oh, we got 100 likes. Nice. I need Reaper. No, I think... I think I need to upgrade Brutality so I can get that card draw ASAP and get my left life lower. Ooh, this is a little awkward. Well, I did that wrong. Alright. I'm, I'm just going to elite my kick my ass. Let's, let's see what happens here. Enlightenment for impervious dual wheel searing blow. GG. No, that's my girlfriend. That's my girlfriend, dude. That's my girl. That's my girlfriend. Uh, flame barrier is some decent defense. I don't know if we want to even. I think we don't even care. I think we just we're just going YOLO. We don't even care. Flameberry could upset my ass. But, okay, if this is the Nemesis, this could kick my ass just because the Nemesis... I think we do this. I think we do this fight. I might have made a mistake. We'll see. Oh, no, we one-shot this guy. Okay, now it's just me and these little guys. It should be fine. A lot of damage to the face, but... Nice. That's ideal. Prime time, dude. Prime time. Holy shit. This elite might kick my ass. Please don't kick my ass, elite. Okay. If I do enlightenment, dual wield, uppercut, that's not quite lethal, is it? Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Whew. Charon's Ashes. Okay. Impervious again. I, I kind of like Impervious to help me stay alive. Because it exhausts itself, right? And I can make it free. Now, I might just rest. Let's see what this Elite might be. If this Elite is the Giant Head, we probably can kill the Giant Head. The Nemesis, we would have to get lucky. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade the Stream Blow again. I should upgrade brutality though. All right, these guys, I can handle this. We just gotta get lucky, actually. Do I want to deal with uppercut, or do I want to just do impervious uppercut? Probably just impervious uppercut. We need to draw into searing blow, so maybe I should be doing shrug it off ASAP. But then I can't do impervious. Okay, we need to get the Searing Blow to kill that guy, and then we just gotta not die to this guy. There it is. Okay, and he's trying to get the Searing Blow again. I don't have Headbutt, though. 
You got impervious uppercut. That's fantastic. The alternative it is to do uppercut searing blow. But the next searing blow is going to kill him anyway. So let's go ahead and do weaken. And impervious. Yeah, big balls gameplay. You have no idea exactly. Ooh. Mm, speaking of big balls gameplay, though, this is a little... Ooh, this is painful. Small ball gameplay. Small ball gameplay right now. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. All good. We're fine. Just give me searing blow. Searing blow. Motherfucker, where you at? You're so close to me. Why can't you just show yourself? I think we do power strike to draw. Yeah. Oh, no. That's not the right one. Oh, do I have... Does the vulnerable kill him? I think so, right? Because this is 40 damage of vulnerable. Oh, snap. Bottle lightning. Let's look for a skill that we might need. Uh, not this. Bottle lightning. What's the skill we might need? Enlightenment, right? Wait. Enlightenment for bottle light. Yes. That or dual wield. Because I could dual wield... I could do a wield. If I do do a wield in bottle lighting, I could do with the brutality or the metallic right away, or I could do light. I think we do enlightenment. Or impervious so we don't die. Ah, uh, and do enlightenment. Now I think we're gonna I think we're forced to rest. Now I could be even bigger balls and say, you know what? My deck is I gotta keep upgrading. So do I go for big balls and keep upgrading? I mean it only gets better and better. I am low on life, but maybe this gives me a heal. I'm doing big balls gameplay, guys. This is this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing right now. Yes, or recalcum, sure. Ooh. A secret weapon is amazing to get. This that's amazing. If only I could use ball lightning on that. Oh shit. This might be rough. I think we got this though. Let's draw. Secret weapon. This make it free. Or one cost, rather. Let's go. Attack this guy. Okay, I'm fucking hype. I'm loving this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dual wield. Uppercut, yes, right? Let's do this. Let's do that. Easy peasy. Oh my god, dude. Whew. Okay, let's do this. Let's do... Ah, wait. We don't want to take too much damage to the face. Okay. There's one string blow and he's dead. Dude. I think... My big ball is my, play, my payoff here. Hmm. Okay. Energy pot could be useful more so than poison pot right corruption is not bad although because it makes everything go away and i only have searing blow so basically i'll get my deck down to like searing blow and like some, no i think we don't want it it's too expensive give me a heal maybe oh wait wait we can get more max hp and a full heal do we want to do it Because we have Enlightenment, I can get rid of Berserk, get a full heal, and plus 10 max HP, and now I have Enlightenment to kind of use my energy with the with the Mummified Hand and the Happy Flower. I can get rid of the low Searing Blow, like, it's not that effective, right? And it makes it so that I'm not getting as much defense, but the Berserk gives me plus 10 HP as well. I think Berserk is better because if I'm going to get the full heal, then I'm, Berserk is not going to be useful. The thing about Impervious is that if I if I get the full heal, then I'm not going to get value out of Berserk. The low uppercut is pretty bad too, though, right? The low uppercut is pretty bad. At least Impervious can block against the time here and buy me time for this. No, the lower uppercut is worse than Impervious, because Impervious can help me survive a, a hit against a time meter, and then the, the uppercut is not helping me, because I already have an upgraded one. I like the Berserk, though, because 
No, secret weapon can give me. Secret weapon allows me to get the string blow. The secret weapon is amazing. Berserk is. The reason why Berserk is not as bad as this uppercut is because Berserk can give me mummified hands, which gives me energy, whereas uppercut not can't do that to me. And this is a, a exhaust one time. So I'm gonna get rid of uppercut. Alright, now we can get even more upgrades. This is gonna be at 97 damage. Let's draw. There it is! Uh, that's not good enough, right? Here's what we can do, guys. Searing blow, searing blow. Let's just do this, and just... Let's just draw back and just... Ooh. 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 Upgrade your secret weapon might be worth. Well, I think with the time meter, we're going to kill this guy so quickly that... I'm not sure. Oh, I have secret weapon here. Hey, GG. Our deck's small enough that I don't think secret weapon needs to be upgraded. Skip. Thundertrap's not bad for the vulnerable, but we already have uppercut, right? Blood pot over vuln- Nah, I think we're good. I think we're gonna go for the one shot here, guys. So the ideal- If we didn't get any cards, so I would've loved to get like, um, that's 111. I would love to get something like a offering or battle train so I can get card draw and use enlightenment on a lot of stuff. We didn't get lucky with that. I'm gonna use the vulnerable pot. I'm gonna draw cards. We got searing blow and the enlightenment. Now guys, let me just let me put this this way. Wait a second. I wish I could do dual wield right now. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do enlightenment. Smack them up. Get the weaken. And then we're just gonna go ahead and defend. Now the next rotation should kill this guy. Or if I can get the dual wield, that'd be fantastic. Dual wield here doesn't feel as good on that, right? I'd rather just do like that, that. The shrug. We can do the impervious now. But I'd rather get, like, the Metatsis out of the cycle. And the Berserk out of the cycle. Actually, you know, we can reset him right now. Let's do it. Let's reset him right now. So now I have 12 cards I can play. And he's still vulnerable. So if I can get, like, a dual wield, that would be fantastic. My cycle's a little bit smaller. Let's try to draw. Let's get the weaken. Defense. Defense. Okay, not bad. We got it. Dual wheel stream blow. Lethal. We did it. GG. Oh, this is this is perfect for YouTube. Guys, this is insane. A searing blow enlightenment runic cube deck with brutality one fight hands. I mean. I mean. That was crazy. I loved it. Ended up 111 damage. Dual wheel was this. This came to fruition. This whole thing. This I, this is a deliberate choice I made. I made this deliberate choice in the beginning to buy Lightning Dual Wield, and it came together beautifully. It was it was gorgeous. 19 card deck. Wow, 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 man. Loved it, guys. I was living on the edge. I think I, some of these fights I took at 9, 11 HP. It was pretty crazy. Wow.